This accident, just yeah. one more reminder okay, for bye. teens to take it slow and pay attention on the roads. WN San Shamariel Ratliff joins us live with more on how the North Carolina Highway Patrol is reaching out to young drivers. Shamariel. Good evening, guys. Yes, they're reaching out to them through Operation Drive to Live. The objective is to reduce the number of teenage car crashes by showing them what being behind the wheel can really be like. These students are getting a front row seat to experience what it's like to be in the driver's seat and all the dangers and distractions that come along with it. It's really lifelike because behind the wheel, you're usually, you know, it's just you. But in there, it was like a whole bunch of pedestrians and random cars. So when you'd step on the brake, it was like, oh, oh my gosh. With prom season among us, troopers with the highway patrol started Operation Drive to Live. We're going to be very conscious to work on school zones. Trooper Mark Sabrone says they'll be keeping their eyes open for unsafe movements from drivers. Uh, we're looking for just head movements. A lot of times we're driving around all day. All we're seeing is the head go down a lot, you know, often, more often than if you're just going to pick up something. Um, so if you're doing it very often, it's just a good sign that you're texting. Last year, the Highway Patrol investigated more than 45,000 wrecks involving drivers and passengers between the ages of 15 through 19. Of those collisions, 113 fatalities were reported. These Heritage High students say these simulations shouldn't be optional for inexperienced drivers. It is very important. Um, if we could, I'd say get every student in one of those just to see how serious it can really be. Now, troopers will increase, increase patrols all week from 6 a.m. until 5 p.m. And they say if their message is portrayed correctly, they could save a life. Live in Raleigh, Shamariel Ratliff, WNCN News. All right, Shamariel, thank you.